We had um, a couple of guys who were kind of managed today, um, but on the whole, um, unbelievably players have, have come through. They've recovered really well, the, the medical staff um, and, uh, and the conditioning staff have just done a great job in, in getting the players right and the players themselves have really looked after themselves after <laughs> A pretty bruising encounter on the weekend in, uh, in in Melbourne, so you know we were delighted with the numbers that were available to train today. Uh, after the weekend, I, I think our urgency across the board was was far better. Um, you know, we were disappointed in, in some areas of our game uh, in uh, in Brisbane. We probably we lost out on the physicality a little bit in Brisbane, and I thought we showed that uh, there was a marked improvement in that area. In, in Melbourne and, and I think in any game but test match in particular the, the breakdown is always going to be crucial and, and I think um, you know, we came came off second best in, in, in certain aspects of that in the, in the first game and I think we we matched them um, uh, in, the, in the second test and, and that has to be the case this week I think physically um, the players uh, like I say are, are in good shape this week but off the back of uh, two test matches, some of them have, have now played two games and, and have, have, um, have kind of got up to that level again that we had during the Six Nations. Yeah, I think uh, there, there will be some changes and, and, uh, and, and whether that's the starting team uh, or, or the bench, uh, I think there's, there's always going to be an opportunity, I think, throughout a, a three test series, not only through injuries but also through our um, our need to to try and get some exposure for some of the more inexperienced players on, on a tour like this. We're, we're we're not that far out from a World Cup, and this has been a great trip for us to to get to know players that we're maybe not that familiar with, but also um, to get some some really um, important game time and, and and training time with those players. So hopefully this week we'll um, we'll not only get like I say uh, nearly a full deck to to choose from. Hopefully by um, by the time the game comes, but also uh, get exposure for the, some of those more inexperienced players, and and then that will add real value to um, you know to, to them going back home uh, throughout the summer and leading into a, a very important season next year. We've done nothing uh, that we haven't done all season. I just think it, it, on the weekend we, we just showed a lot more urgency to to, to get back and and uh, and um, support the player receiving the ball, making sure that. Um, once that player has, has caught the ball and, and uh, landed, that we resource the ruck, and I, I think that was an area that we came off second best in in, in Brisbane. So, yeah, listen, we we, we uh, there'll always be things that um, you know opposition and ourselves feel that we maybe didn't get the rub of the green, but you know we, we're just asking the players to work incredibly hard to to support those guys who are receiving the kick, and and um, you know that's that's all we did on the weekend. We didn't feel like we did anything. Um, that uh, that any other team in the world isn't doing. Like we probably set out on this tour was to try and expose and and uh, and, and get some experience of players, build some combinations. Certainly, the hooker position is is one that, um, because of, of Rory's unavailability for this tour, has allowed us to to see a little bit more of, of Niall and, and Rob Herring, um, uh, along with uh, Sean Cronin. So it's been a you know, it's a position of, of strength for us at the moment, um, but but a position that we feel um, some of the the younger guys haven't had that much time with us and haven't had much uh, test match experience. And um, when Rory became unavailable, I think that allowed us to to uh, to to select uh, a group of players um, that we knew we could give opportunities to. And through the course of the last couple of weeks, I think those players have stood up, scans and. Uh, and uh, and Rob Herring, two guys we we are not as familiar with as we would be maybe Sean Cronin, who who uh, who we know exactly what we what can do.